Hey, everybody, welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here at the Miserable Liberal, Ron Placone. Howdy, howdy. I'm miserable. Ha! If you're in Florida, Ron will be there in January on his comedy tour. Go to his website, check it out. Um, <laughs> so everybody's worried about, uh, you got to vote blue. Remember that, by the way, you got to vote blue. Because <laughs> we're, we're a check on Trump's power. And, um, well, so now that the big appointments, uh, Chuck Schumer is going to appoint, uh, anyway. This is from Common Dreams. They're giving Joe Manchin a top spot on the Energy Committee. Joe Manchin literally did a commercial, an ad, campaign ad, where he sh took out a rifle and shot a climate change bill, the cap and trade bill. Watch this. I'm Joe Manchin. I approve this ad because I'll always defend West Virginia. As your senator, I'll protect our Second Amendment rights. That's why the NRA endorsed me. I'll take on Washington and this administration to get the federal government off of our backs and out of our pockets. I'll cut federal spending, and I'll repeal the bad parts of Obamacare. I sued EPA, and I'll take dead aim at the cap-and-trade bill. Because it's bad for West Virginia. But climate change is good for West Virginia. <laughs> he literally took out a gun and shot the cap-and-trade bill. Well, the joke's on him because that bullet counted as his signature. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what to say. What do you even say to that? I don't even... Do you understand why people vote green? Do you understand why people can't bring themselves to participate in this corrupt charade? Or do you say charade? <laughs> <laughs> this kabuki theater? <laughs> ah, that's a good one. That's great. So here's from this article. I'll just read a little bit of it because there's even more... It's even more depressing as you get into it because... Um, Appointing Senator Manchin as ranking member of the Energy Committee is completely at odds with any plan for real climate action, says May Bouyeve, executive director of 350.org. Manchin has taken every opportunity to put big oil before the health and safety of communities and our climate. So do you know what that also means? So has the Democratic Party. Because that's what the Democratic Party is just putting on the Energy Committee. The leader. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is upset about it. She is pushing for the formation of a Green New Deal select committee in the House. I think Nancy Pelosi already agreed to that, by the way. She, Nancy Pelosi, you know, to her credit, uh, formed that in the first place. Last time I think she was a leader or a uh, speaker. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, like going on that, the cynicist, or cynicist, the cynicism in me is saying, like, this was kind of an F you for that because Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez showed up to Nancy Pelosi's yeah. office with a bunch of protesters right. and said, hey, we got to do something. And the time was yesterday. And Pelosi was like, well, you backed me in a corner. OK. And now this is sort of the F you for that. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, that that's what the cynicism. That's what it's saying. I hope I'm wrong. But so she, war she according to this article, she joined progressive advocacy groups and warning against the appointment of Manchin who has raked in over $156,000 in campaign cash from the fossil fuel industries in just 2018 and is reportedly still profiting from a coal brokerage company he helped run <laughs> before entering politics. That's the guy, the Democratic Party, just put on the Energy Committee. You go, well, that's really just Chuck Schumer. Well... For the West Virginia Senator's promotion, which was ratified Tuesday evening by members of the Senate Democratic Caucus. So it had to be ratified by the Democratic Caucus. They said, OK. You see how rotten this Democratic Party is? The Democrats are doing this to climate change. The Democrats are. This isn't another party doing this. Isn't this awesome? I don't, know, is, I don't know if awesome is what comes to mind. Right. <laughs> this is something. Wow. They're doing it right in public. He's doing, he made this assignment. It literally, you know it, it is a big F you. Literally anybody else would have been less offensive. <laughs> they picked the most offensive guy to put there. 
while corporate media outlets worked hard to blame Senator Bernie Sanders, they did the mo- mother, even Mother Jones, which what the hell happened to mo- So Mother Jones, they got bought, right? And then they went south. They're like worse than box. Um, while corporate media outlets, I mean, as far as being in the tank for corporate Democrats and eschewing anything progressive, they backed Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. That it's crazy. what So that Mother Jones is just a name. Just mm-hmm. like just like the Democratic Party. <laughs> <laughs> While corporate media outlets worked hard to blame Senator Bernie Sanders, currently the ranking member on a powerful Senate budget committee for not abandoning his post to block mansion, commenters were. So, yeah. So they literally they did that. So they were trying to blame Bernie Sanders for not quitting his position on the budget committee to take this spot because that could have blocked mansion. But. Uh, because there's nobody else in Congress well, that can uh, do anything except the independent Bernie Sanders. Well, turns out, second half of that paragraph, turns out that uh, Senator Ron Wyden, Debbie Stabenow, and Maria Cantwell all have seniority over Manchin and could have taken the seat but chose not to. And this is the—so I guess, you know, when Manchin voted for— um, why am I blanking on the Supreme Court guy's name? Kavanaugh? Yeah. So, I, you know, went against the Democratic Party and all that stuff uh, and voted for Kavanaugh. I guess this is his punishment. <laughs> he gets a kick-ass committee appointment. And where, was it, didn't Chuck Schumer he, say, I, I, you know, I'm going to let them vote the way they're going to vote? Yeah. Where he was supposed to yes. whip the vote. Yeah, he didn't whip the vote. Well, what, drive, what drives me nuts, too, is I remember, like, like during the midterms, and there were a lot of these blue-no-matter-who folks on Twitter and everywhere else saying, oh, you got to vote. We know Joe Manchin's terrible. But you got to vote for him. You you got to vote for him. The Republican will be even worse. And it's like you know when he had an opponent who wouldn't be terrible. When Paula Jean Swearingen was running against him, where were you guys then? Where were you? You were silent. You right. were completely silent because you don't want primary opponents. We need quote unquote unity, and that leads to stuff like this. Yep, you are correct, Ron. And uh, I don't know how you, how could you support this party? I just don't get this. This is the party doing this. Like, well, we're going to reform it someday. We're going to. Th- yeah, you're still an American. You don't have to be part of that goddamn party. <laughs> uh. While dismayed by Manchin's promotion, Boave of 350.org, I hope I'm saying the name right. I feel like an idiot for not knowing how to pronounce that name. Uh, it looks like Boave, right? Or Bove? Yeah. Bove Bove, of 350.org expressed confidence that not even this foolish decision can stop the groundswell of momentum that's building for a Green New Deal. Okay, well, it's fantastic. Everybody's happy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There's some quick uh, oil change USA tweeted out that Senator Schumer has made Senator Manchin ranking member of the Energy and Natural Resources Committee, putting Senate norms ahead of climate safety. So I get this idea again. Trump just when when he goes against climate change, he it's just easier to hate him because he puts an ugly face on it. Chuck Schumer puts his wimpy face on it. What a wimp that guy is. Bill McKibben says, uh, "Yes, we have to change everything to deal with climate change, but no, that doesn't include seniority <laughs> rules in the Senate." Truly depressing. At a key moment in Earth's history to see Joe Manchin take over as ranking member of the Energy Committee. Do you see why the Democrats aren't going to be your savior? This isn't just Chuck. This, By the way, it's just not, not just the leadership. It's the whole friggin' caucus had to vote on Chuck. Uh, Lisa for West Virginia says, This development is a genuine tragedy for this country. One that denies the punishment endured by vulnerable communities in order to enrich the wealthy. With this appointment, that punishment is now set to spread to more and more communities. That's right. Who pays the price for climate change? First, it's the poor people and the vulnerable communities. Uh, Joshua Green, in two hours of circulating... Oh, this was interesting. I thought this was... In two hours of circulating through GOP gatherings at the Trump Hotel this evening, the big preoccupation wasn't Trump, Pelosi, or Schumer. It was Ocasio. She scares the hell out of them. She does. So people who don't take corporate money, just like Bernie, she doesn't take corporate money. That scares the hell out of them. 
Yeah, and it's interesting seeing what she goes through because she's kind of being honest about it. I mean, not too long ago, she tweeted about how she was at that hearing to hear about how to deal with, you know, like like lobbying and stuff like that. And she heard from all of these big executives, and she's like, there was no one here representing labor yeah. unions. We just heard from right. corporate executive after corporate It was corporate the freshman executive. orientation for the freshman right, incoming right, right. congresspeople. And you know, like, that's not the first time something like this has happened. It is the first time somebody said something. Yes. So that's so, why our question was, how long has this been going on? And nobody's ever said anything. Mm-hmm. It took Ocasio-Cortez uh, to go to Congress for us to find out about this? Yes, I guess so. Even Bernie never, well, he's a, he wasn't, a, well, he wasn't a fresh, well, he was a freshman congressperson maybe before they started doing that. Yeah, there uh, there probably wasn't Twitter back yeah. then. Uh, anyway. So before their corporate training. Here's the Mother Jones. The reason why Democrats are letting a senator from coal country oversee the energy industry is Bernie Sanders. Jeez. It's his fault. Christ. Not Chuck Schumer or the caucus that appointed. How is that not bullying 101? Like, hey, here's our crappy choice. This hey. guy's a jerk and he's not going to do anything. Hey, that's not a good idea. Well, why don't you take it, man? You're not going to take it. You're a wimp. It's your fault. Like, that's it's terrible. A, this is this is, this is is an actual from Mother Joan. That's actually from Mother Joan. <laughs> just a joke. Now you know why there's just a handful of actual progressive lefty media outlets that are just a handful. Wow. Anyway, there you go. Vote blue, blue wave. You know, when I tweet out stuff and I do the hashtag blue wave, right? Because I'm obviously doing it sarcastically. People do that. Those do not do well. <laughs> I think it makes people feel badly. <laughs> I know. I feel horrible too. Our next live Jimmy Dore show is February 1st in Burbank, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a list of all our live shows. And please become a premium member if you can. Become a patron. It's the way we support this show because they're coming at us. And we give you bonus. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Check it out. Become a patron. And if you can, make sure you're still subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I know it sounds crazy. It only takes a second. Please make sure and click that bell when you subscribe so they'll send you a notice when we drop a video. Thanks for your support.